Good morning. So, for today, uh, I want to introduce you to the uh, learning kit from Alexa Electronics. Uh, I call them upgraded Arduino learning kit. So, this kit uh, have variety of items or components. Uh, included like the temperature sensor, water level, keypad, a joystick, and many more. So, we're gonna make some tutorials about uh, how we use the components. But for today, we will start with the DHT11 module uh, it measures the temperature and humidity of your environment so if you wanna check out the kit just check the link below so you can have the full description of this kit so for today, we're going to use the the DH11. So how to connect the sensor to our Arduino board? So let's get started. First, we need the DH11 sensor module, then some connectors included in the kit, our Arduino board, and our breadboard. So, what we're going to do is to connect the DH11 module to our Arduino and then we will program it later. So to begin with, the DH the DHT sensor has let's focus this. The pinouts of our DHT sensor has the labels on it. It has the positive, the out, and the negative sign. So the positive sign indicates this is the BCC or the positive 5 volts supply of the module. And then we have the negative label. So it means it is the ground or the negative uh, pin of the module and and the one with in the middle indicates this is the signal pin so we will put this on our breadboard and then we're going to wire this sensor to our Arduino so first we're gonna connect the negative side the negative to the ground of our Arduino and then for the positive side we're going to connect to the 5 volts of our Arduino board. So let's place this much more nearer our Arduino board. 
so negative and then the positive and our signal So for this tutorial, we're going to use the pin 2 of our Arduino board. So, as you can see, our sensor is already wired up. So after this, we can now connect our Arduino board to our USB port. Let's connect it down. So once you open your Arduino or IDE, uh, let's click on the file, then examples, then DHT sensor library. So we're going to select the DHT tester. Okay. So this sketch is from Lady Ada uh, that can can be used to different type of DHT modules. So for today we're going to use the DHT11. So we were going to uh, remove the comment line of this and put a comment line on the HT22. Since we're using the HT11, then this would be fine. So after that, uh, to upload the code, uh, we're going to click on Tools, select the board. Are doing Uno and this and then select the the port of our Arduino Uno in our case COM4 so then after that we will going to click on upload and then we'll wait a little Okay, then what we're going to do is open up the serial port of our Arduino IDE to see the data we're getting from our DHT module. So as you can see, you can see the humidity, temperature in degree Celsius and Fahrenheit and also the heat index of your surroundings so this 11 is we can use on controlled environments such as uh, greenhouses uh, if you are regulating the room temperature and so much more so if you want uh, projects and tutorials in the future about the DH11, uh, please subscribe, like and subscribe our channel for more tutorials and updates on our uh, prototyping projects. So I hope this helps uh, the beginners, uh, STEM students, and hobbies. So that they can prototype in their own. So that's it for today. Goodbye.